I know a lot of people that have used this as a reason not to run. They say it's really bad for your knees. Oh yeah, running is bad for your knees. Now it is true that knee injuries are the most common running injuries. Arthritis, which is really what they're usually talking about, it's absolutely definitively not true that running increases rates of knee cartilage damage and arthritis. So arthritis is caused by cartilage wearing away in a joint. And it's a myth that running actually increases cartilage damage. If you have arthritis, running is excruciating and problematic. If you don't have it, running actually, if anything, may be slightly preventive because cartilage joints, like everything else, benefits from being used, right? And so physical activity actually helps promote strong and healthy joints. Physical activity promotes repair mechanisms in cartilage, just as it does in other tissues in the body. And um, of course, the other thing about running is that I think a lot of people run incorrectly today. So that's why we started studying barefoot running a few decades ago is because if humans have been running for millions of years, most of that time we were running barefoot. So we're kind of curious, how did people run before shoes? And what we learned learned was that today shoes have these cushioned heels that enable you to essentially run the way you walk and land on your heel. And everybody who's barefoot sometimes lands on their heel, but more often than not land on the ball of their foot and then they let their heel down. It's called a forefoot strike or a midfoot strike. And when you do that, we worked out the biomechanics of that, published a paper on the cover of Nature, showing that when you do that, you actually prevent your foot from crashing into the ground, causing what's called an impact, a collisional force. You run lightly and gently. So if you were to take your shoes off and run up Lexington Avenue here, I guarantee you, you would not be landing on your heels. Within a few steps, you'd start landing on the ball of your foot because it hurts less. And so that's how we evolved to run. We evolved to run in a, in a way that doesn't involve slamming into the ground with every step. And that causes less force around your knee. The trade-off though, because nothing comes for free, everything has trade-offs, is that it's harder on your ankles. Your calf muscles and your Achilles have to do now a lot more work to let your heel down. And though people who switch from heel striking to forefoot striking often have Achilles tendon problems, they get calf muscle problems, they don't do it properly, they'll get their foot muscles aren't strong enough, they'll get all kinds of foot problems, right? So you can't just suddenly become a barefoot runner and start forefoot striking. If you're going to switch, you have to switch gradually and slowly and build up strength and learn to do it properly. Another thing people do is they tend to run like a ballerina high up on their toes. That's really hard on your ankles and your calves. So you got to do it properly, but it can have enormous benefits. And so, and we know, again, if you run that way, this puts much less force on your knees. And again, knees are where people get injured the most. So I think a lot of knee injuries come from, from the way in which we run. A barefoot style tends to be a high stride rate or high stride frequency. So 90 strides per minute or 180 steps per minute, roughly. You know, 170 to 180 steps a minute is about right. Relatively short strides, so you're not throwing your leg out. And to me, the most important thing is not what we call overstriding. If you ask any coach on the planet, they'll say overstriding is bad. Overstriding is when you throw your leg out way in front of you. Leg is a stiff leg. A stiff leg means more force and it's harder on your knees. And so a good runner lands with their shank, with their tibia vertical, so their ankle is below their knee. When you do that, pretty much everything will work out properly. It'll mean that you won't land hard on your heel. It'll mean that your leg will be acting like an excellent spring. You'll produce a lot of braking force. To me, I think the most important skill in running is not to overstride. So, so don't worry about how you're going to hit the ground. Just worry about your overstride. If you solve your overstride, you're more likely to run well.